So whenever you take the limit with trig functions, you need to remember these little special trig limits. This is what we're falling back on. Now, where these come from, um, we'll kind of learn them later with something called L'Hopital's rule and um, other things. But we're just kind of kind of recognize them right now. All right, so if you have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, or it could be x over sine x, it's 1. And here is the same idea, it's just upside down. See the upside down version? Except you can also have a number in here. As long as if that's 5x and that's a 5x, that also equals 1. Because 5x over 5x is the same as saying x. It's just 5x is another piece. So it doesn't matter as long as this matches this, it's the same as an x over an x. And it doesn't matter if the sign's on top or the x is on top. You can flip-flop it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Same thing here. Do you see how these are flip-flopped? And you see the idea of ax and ax, or x and x, they're flip-flopped. Both of these limits are equal to zero. So if you can recognize these two, things are relating back to these two is what we're looking for a lot of times on problems like these. So as we take this limit, we're trying to change this using trig properties to look like these. So let's do that. The limit as x approaches zero of 2x times cotangent. Cotangent, hopefully remember, is cosine 6x over sine 6x. Now, instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So reciprocal of cosine is 1 over cosine. All right, so that's what we have so far. So next, what I notice here is this kind of looks like these. All right, hmm. Now, I did forget my little parenthesis right there. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, let me see, how do I get these to look the same? Well, it looks kind of like this one. So if this, th isn't there a 6x there? So don't I need the top to have a 6x? And then, because it's limit is x approaches 0. So if I can get this to be a 6x, won't those make a limit of 1 using my um, limit properties? So how do I make this a 6x? Well, it's simple, simpler than you think. Can you simply multiply top and bottom by 3? So what I now have is the limit as x approaches 0 of 6x over sine 6x times the limit of x approaches 0 of cosine 6x over cosine 8x. All right, so let's look what we did real quick. We got this as 6x. We have this. All right, well, I did forget something. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Isn't there still a 3 right here? It's so easy to do that. You're going to do it too. See, it's 3. I forgot all about this. 3 times this is on the bottom. This is on the top. This right here is the 6x. This right here goes on the bottom. And so I separated as two separate limits. All right. I almost forgot that 3. You're going to do it too sometimes. So watch out for it. I kind of like messing up because it, it, it's something good to warn you because you might do the same thing. Anyways, this right here, according to this property, is 1. So this would be... This would be 1 times the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine 6x over cosine 8x. Okay, next. Can we now try plugging your number? Isn't that what we're trying to do? So let's plug in a number. All right, 1 in front doesn't matter, so I kind of just dropped the 1, really. So, but uh, let's just do it. Cosine, let's plug in 0, of 6 times 0 over cosine of 8 times 0. So wouldn't those each be zeros? And cosine of 0, isn't that 1 over 1? So isn't this really just 1 times 1, which is 1? So this is my answer to this whole thing, 1. So to take this limit right here, we're going to use these. And it looks like... We might be getting into this one. I'm not sure about this one. We'll wait and see. So let's change the way this one looks. And that will help us do this problem. So the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 times tangent. Tangent is sine x over cosine x. All right. And then we are going to divide by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal would be an x on the bottom. It could be 1 on top. And then secant is going to be 1 over secant, but 1 over secant, oh, let's just do that, 1 over secant x, so that's kind of what it looks like. Then, what we also understand is, doesn't secant look like this? Let, let's rewrite from the beginning. So we have 4 
times sine x over cosine x, and that's going to be times. X is on the bottom, but isn't secant really mean go to the top and make it cosine on top? Oh, that is what we forget. Secant is really 1 over cosine. So that shows something. Don't these disappear? And I now have the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 sine x over x. Okay, so wouldn't that now allow us to bring the 4 out front times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x, which now we have 4 times 1, because according to our property here, isn't this equal to 1? So isn't my answer going to be 4? So this right here is equal to 4. Now, we didn't have one that has this in it, but if you see, alter it, and you get this notation, you treat it just like you have with the signs. You try to look for and to find this, and then you'll see that equals 0, and you can find values of trig limits, and these are your two building blocks for all of them.